and we're continuing a conversation we started a few minutes ago. Rochelle Turner is joining me to continue this conversation. You kicked this off uh, really yesterday for our KPRC2 viewers, and this story is so, so inspiring. It is. Sherry Moody, she's a heart of gold. She's not letting her struggles or her challenges get in the way of her living life to the fullest. She got sick yeah. in April. She went to the ER and she developed septic shock. That's a picture of me and her yesterday. Aww. And she has been just so fun and so positive to be around. And she had to go through therapy and relearn how to do a lot of things that we do every day, brushing wow. our teeth and- Things that we take for granted. Yeah, you know, yeah. eating and walking and mm -hmm. exercise, you know, and her whole entire life change just like that. But she's not letting that get her down. She's, mm -hmm. she's still inspiring others. She spent over 20 years with Deer Park ISD wow. and she worked with students through uh, a peer assisted um, leadership program, mm -hmm. helping them through challenges and just being a part of the community. And now the community is stepping back yeah. in and helping her in a big way. So yeah. it was an honor to be able to talk to Sherry and her husband. They truly inspired me, I'm telling you. Like, I, I teared They're an yesterday. inspiration. They're an inspiration. Yes, they are. Yeah. And they're here with us right now, actually. Sherry and her husband, David, are joining us. There they are. Good morning, guys. Hi. Thank you so much for coming on this show. Uh, I don't know if you were able to listen to the conversation Ra Rochelle and I were having earlier, but uh, I was telling her that I woke up a little earlier than normal, and the first thing I saw on social media was her post, Sherry, about you, and it, it, it brought me to tears. Um, you truly are an inspiration, and I know oftentimes it, that might sound cliche, but when you meet someone who is inspiring, you, you you know it and you feel it. Thank you so much. That just truly means the world to me. I don't know why that is necessarily, <laughs> but I will take it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, again, we're so thankful to have you here. Talk to us. I, I, Rochelle and I were we were having the conversation earlier about you know how how things evolved uh, over the past year, but I, I'm interested in hearing it from, hearing it from you in your own words. Talk to us about what happened. Um, well, hi, Rochelle. Again. <laughs> she said hi. She said good morning. Good morning. You look so beautiful, by the way. You look gorgeous. And David, how's it going? How are you guys this morning? Good morning. Good, good oh. to see you again. You look beautiful, too. You look beautiful. Oh. Um, it's going um, well. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna step on off eight, in April, so I can hear you guys. I'm gonna I come right just now. had a cold, and I um, had my yearly teacher cold that I thought was you know, coming on again. And um, after about 28 years of teaching, mm. you get used to that sort of thing. And so I just thought I would let it run its course as usual and um, got to kind of the end of the week. And I um, and I noticed it was possibly getting worse and running a temperature, a really high temperature. And so I um, went to the ER and it was um, double pneumonia and a strep infection, really low blood pressure and that turned into septic shock. And I really just don't have much memory of that whole incident. I started kind of going in and out mm -hmm. a little bit and um, my husband kind of took over from there and advocated for me the entire time as I went through um, lots of surgeries and also had a, a pressers put into my body to save my vital organs. And those pressers caused um, or I guess with all of it happening, and um, it made the circulation not be as great. And mm. so the limb loss was kind of inevitable from there. And so we had to amputate all four limbs. Did I explain it right, David? Yeah, I think so. I was in a coma, so. <laughs> she doesn't remember a whole lot of yeah. it. Uh, yeah. And that's maybe that's maybe a blessing, uh, not to to recall every single thing that happened along the way. Give us perspective on how long that was, though, from the time th for that Friday afternoon when you when you started feeling like, hey, I, I've got to go to the hospital, to the to the, the 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 next memory you sort of have coming to as far as like this is my new life, this is the way things will yeah, be. Yeah, so I was um, I was in the ICU for a little over a month. And then um, I spent from April to um, 
<clears throat> almost August in the hospital before I went to the rehabilitation mm. hospital and I stayed at the rehab hospital for almost another month. But when I came to the realization that this was happening was um, probably right when I was about ready to transfer into um, from the ICU to a regular room. Um, <clears throat> it became a little bit more real to me. I started coming out and being a little bit more aware that something was happening. My limbs were completely black with gangrene, essentially like mummified, if mm-hmm. you will. Um, and I looked down and they kept explaining to me that not to hit things too hard, like don't hit the bed too hard, don't hit the side of the bed because they're afraid that it would, um, I guess, crack off, would that yeah. be? Yeah basically to how to say that. And so, um, you know, when it hit me that this was happening, there was not this huge big moment of a breakdown or a cry mm-hmm. or anything like that. I think it took a while for that to really sink in for me. I'm not really sure that it completely has. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot to handle. Um, but, you know, I guess there's no use um, looking back we just look forward yeah. so and um, that's that's kind of the mindset that i have from the beginning yeah uh, i i when you talk about having that mindset not necessarily looking back or living in the past being present and and knowing this is the way life is is there something that gets you through those moments that some would call unbearable at times um well i do absolutely get up every day and i pray Achieves happiness every single day. My husband and I get up and we talk about how we want the day to look. I love and that, so yeah. um, it's almost like a visualizing how we want the day to go. And that's not to say that it always goes that way. Yeah. And it's not to say that we don't have our frustrations and moments throughout the day that um, that get to us, um, especially with the fact that every single thing I've learned in my 51 years has to be relearned yeah. and so it's almost like i'm a baby or a toddler learning to eat again and learning to do my makeup and hair and get dressed and all the things that you would be t- teaching your child um uh-huh. that's how i'm relearning things again and i have to do those things in a different way because i don't have limbs so it's relearning how things will work for me and that doesn't look the same yeah. Well, I, I know uh, you certainly are an inspiration, and I, I just want you to know that. David, you also are an inspiration. Uh, I think that, you know, oftentimes these journeys focus on the patient, but there's something to be said for the caregiver, too, and you, are, you also are an inspiration. Thank you. I appreciate it. I have, uh, I have a newfound respect for caregivers. Yeah. Uh, I had no idea um, the challenge that it would be. Um, I love Sherry with all my heart, so oh. I do everything I do with her with um, with love and with hearts. Uh, but there's no doubt it is incredibly challenging and tough. And so all the caregivers out there, um, I've got heart for you and uh, <laughs> pray for you. Actually, I do. Yeah. We, we actually yeah. do pray for all the caregivers out there. Well, you guys are truly the best. And I, I love the pictures, especially of the ones with, with the pup. <laughs> oh, that's our grand dog. <laughs> Aww, I love that. Well, Rochelle is here. She's still with me. She was having some issues with her IFB, but you guys are, are such an inspiration. Before I let you go, if people want to connect with you to keep up with your progress uh, and, and, and to, to help out if they're willing to do so, how can they go about uh, staying in touch? Um, they are welcome to join our Facebook page. Um, my best friend established this page for um for me and she runs it mostly um it's called the sherry moody updates and um i post on there my best friend stephanie does and then david will post and give updates about my medical journey we have um quite the journey still ahead of us we have some um some surgeries Mm -hmm. in our very near future okay uh, very risky ones so um we would really just appreciate prayer and support about that and um, they're welcome to go on and join and um, pray for us and follow our journey and encourage us. And we'll encourage you right back, I hope. Yeah, we, no, uh, you, you guys absolutely. Our, go ahead, David, yeah, I'm sorry. Say, be part of our, we call it our quad squad. And yeah. uh, there's some amazing people out there. And so they just are, if they're yeah. listening, we want to tell them thank you. We love you. 
Well, we thank you. We thank you for your time this morning and promise us this. When we get into Studio A, our new studio, which should be in the next few weeks, I want you guys to come back. Don't be a stranger. You know, Rochelle was kind enough to introduce us to you, uh, but you're forever our friends. And so we would love to have you in studio in, in a few thank weeks. You. Yes. Thank Can't you. wait to see you guys again. Aww. So <laughs> I'm so honored that I was able to meet you guys. Sherry, you have inspired me so much. No. David, you're amazing. So yeah. thank you thank so you. much. Love you too. I, I promise I'm gonna I promise I'm gonna stay in touch. So <laughs> All right, you good. guys you, are you awesome. Can, Sherry, you come, thank you so much for anytime. allowing me to share your story okay. and you know. Good stuff. It's good.